are installed in to start this video out with you're going to see uh, we're installed in Germany the population of about 700 people <laughs> I mean and uh, I've been capturing stuff here for two and a half years I want to show you this right there where it just keeps hitting that planet it's a really good clear shot of Nibiru big blue Nibiru right there just did a little so we're gonna start this video out with radical big stuff okay and if you haven't seen it yet, you will. But it's pretty big. It's probably called Big Blue Nebiru. I, I coined that phrase, Big Blue Nebiru. But now the striped planet could be our two's moon, or our two, I'm not sure if it's just an asteroid or a UFO, but um, it's pretty confusing some of the stuff in the sky, I gotta admit. But anyways, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna throw some music up here and we're just gonna rip through this giant sky stuff, all right? Great seeing you people. Chat on the right, it's live. And I'm real. You could ask me questions if you like. You're about to wake up. Got Jesus. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's continue, my friends. Earlier this week installed, and look what it looked like. So as the week went on, actually the month went on, I found the best shots after that first and you see the striped planet right there on the right of the sun. So let's continue. Here's some more music. Well, look at this, folks. Right in the middle there, there's a definitely an asteroid, or I'm going to say it's an asteroid ripping through, and then behind it's a planet. And up in the left hand of that, right below the trail of ripping through, you know, drag off, whatever you want to call it, um, there's a black planet. And so, um, just keep watching. It's incredible, this thing. It's insane looking. Now, I think you guys call this Texas Square or Texas T. 
But let me just zoom in. I'll start right there. Up here on the right, there's a planet coming in. Planet right there. Planet right there. And then you got this big giant flat square. Texas Triangle, Texas T, whatever you call it. It's insane. Um, try to catch some of this with a filter. Little filter. Some more music on. Keep watching. It's pretty intense, this little capture. Gave me fair warning it was going to be a strange video, right? It is very strange. Now watch this. This is the whole enchilada of another little place called Sinaloa or Mazelton. It's all the same area, people in Mexico. Okay, keep watching.
What's up, Doc? I hope you enjoyed that craziness. That's what it was. Uh, next video, same area, down the street. I got a rip in U2, uh, R2, plan of going through, caught a little bit slower and better than this. Um, but you try it on your cell phone, cast it to the TV, no matter what size the screen is, and uh, kick back and put a pair of headphones on. You'll get into it like I do. Got Jesus. Talk to you people later. Subscribe, like, share. I need all the help I can get. Blast it out to at least two friends. This is real raw footage. Uh, check out Mark Fugles today, um, Saturday the 8th. Check out his site because he put up um, R, R55 or something website and he had him interviewed. And he, he caught some cloud ships. They were really good. It took a, like one thirtieth of a second to catch them. So what I'm doing is I'm catching them with cameras from other people, CCTV cams, you know, all over the world, weather cams. Talk to you later. Hey, this was a fun video. It took a few days to do it. <laughs> Bye.